Today is June 5th, 2013. You're watching Speed Run. Microsoft CEO Steve Ballmer reportedly met with a number of Hollywood TV executives in an attempt to secure exclusive content for the Xbox One. According to reports, both Ballmer and Microsoft's president of entertainment and digital media, Nancy Tellum, traveled to Hollywood to offer previews of the Xbox One and emphasize the system's capabilities for sports, music, reality, and scripted programming as well as Microsoft's disinterest in simply becoming a cable channel. Speaking of the X-Bone, think about this. The console comes with an included camera microphone peripheral that will track every movement in Word, as well as what you play and watch and how you do so. Sony's upcoming PlayStation 4 also has a camera, but is not required for the console to work, they told us. This idea of an always watching console, even without a consumer's consent, has raised a number of privacy concerns. Check out the full column on the site where Brian discusses what this means. We reviewed Naughty Dog's The Last of Us. I'll let Phil tell you what's up. The Last of Us sticks to its dark worldview, and I want to respect it for that, but not all of its choices feel cohesive. The more mindless shooting that it asked of me, the less that I cared about the world or the characters that it had spent so long trying to convince me were important. Naughty Dog has created a fascinating, sometimes incredible experience in The Last of Us, but any deeper meaning gets lost in the same hail of gunfire that I've experienced in dozens of other third-person action games. The next Deus Ex title is Deus Ex The Fall, a mobile title that will tell a story that runs parallel to console title Human Revolution. Set in 2027, the same time period as Human Revolution, players step into the shoes of Ben Saxton, a former British SAS mercenary who has undergone physical augmentation and is trying to unravel a drug conspiracy and find out what happened to him. The game will launch this summer, and the first episode of what Square Enix is calling a mobile series will cost $6.99. The next Dragon's Dogma will be a free-to-play title on the PlayStation Vita. Dragon's Dogma Quest is a downloadable 2D title that is more straight RPG than a series of action-oriented battles. Players will manage pawns in battle and issue commands. Capcom said it is still evaluating whether or not the game will launch outside of Japan. Our latest Human Angle tells the story of the Ukrainian game developer behind Contra Jour, his life in the USSR, and breakdancing? My name is Max, and uh, I'm head of Mocus Game Studio. I'm an indie developer, and uh, I also do breakdance. When I started to create games, I had absolutely no skills in game design, etc. When you start, and you have to just you have to copy each other. So you cannot invent something new from the start. What I really, really hope is that I will always put a part of uh, myself into what I do. That's it for today, Polynauts. This time next week, we'll be on the E3 show floor.